welcome to the real camera company here in Liverpool. I'll take you inside and we'll have a quick look around. Hello everyone, and as promised, I brought you down today to the real camera company in Liverpool, not their Manchester branch, and I hope you are ready to see some photographic eye candy. Just wait to see this. These guys have a proper collection of cameras. Enlarges, studio equipment, darkroom equipment, you name it. Pretty sure you can find it in here, that's for sure. With a bit of luck, I'm gonna be able to show you some of the more interesting items as we go along. Uh, you want a tripod? You know how much I love tripods. Any number, take your pick. And how about independently made lenses? Look at that, showcase full of them. Canon EF, Nikon, F mount, Pentax, Bayonet and M42. Olympus, oh my goodness mate, the list goes on and on. Plenty of decent Leica screw mount lenses. So we'll get a couple of items taken out of the cabinet for you to have a quick hands-on look at. I'm not buying, just so you know. <laughs> uh, the acceptor will be quite good actually. And Pentax LX. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. That's quite a rare beast. And is that a 3F, 3C? Uh, 3B. 3B. It says on the bottom. Okay, fantastic. Tremendous. Thank you very much. That'll do for now. Good. <laughs> ah, okay. We've got a selection for you to have a look at here. Let's start off with a fairly rare beast. I mean, quite modern, but nevertheless pretty rare. A very nice Pentax LX. And this is with the 1.750 mil. Really, really good. Pentax's answer to uh, the Nikon F2 and um, Canon F1, new F1. Really nice, fantastic. Interchangeable pentaprism on that, of course. Very nice. You can get a series of motor drives for it and all that malarkey. And <clears throat> a little bit earlier and a little bit battered, but it's got every right to be. Look at this lovely black Nikon F. Standard, standard prism, 50 mil F2 lens on it. It's a bit brassed, but I love that. Um, really, really nice. Quite an early one, I think. I think it's 68, looking at the serial number. Still feels sweet. Ah, oh, goodness me. For those of you that might be wondering, I'm in heaven right now. Um, going back even more, an early Leica, a 3B, with the collapsible, uh, I guess it'll be an Elmar. It is, 3.5 Elmar, 
Very nice. Oh, that feels so smooth. Really, really good. That's ever so nice. And of course, with early Likers, you've got the idiosyncratic loading where the film has to go in through the base. It's like riding a bike once you've done it once. You never forget it. Including how to put the base plate back on. There we are. Like a 3B. What else have we got? Wow. For the Nikon F, we've got the um, motor drive. Uh, this has got to be an early one as well. Um, I'm guessing it's the equivalent to a motor drive one. Really, really nice. Um, you would take the back off the standard back off the Nikon F, and uh, this comes complete with its own back plate and pressure plate. Very good. Pretty rare thing to see. Okay. <clears throat> An exactor. Uh, it's a Varex, and I'm not sure what model. It's quite an early one. It's got the waist level viewfinder and this one is fitted with an F2 Biotar 80mm. Most unusual. I've never actually seen an 80mm Biotar before. Uncoated but wow lovely piece of glass for sure and um, if I can just remove the back for you uh, this is not a Varex this is this is for 127 roll film which would be six by nine no, not six by nine. Um, smaller than that. Um, one two seven roll film. That explains the eighty mm standard lens. Very nice. And again, I'm guessing that that's going to be pretty rare. And it's in lovely condition. Very nice. Moving up the scale, what else have we got to look at? <clears throat> Hasselblad 500C with an 80mm T-Star 2.8 lens on it, hood, waist level finder. This takes me back. Um, these are amazing cameras. Um, everything is interlocked. You've got the dark slide, which you have to remove before you can release the shutter. Uh, and indeed, before you can remove the film back. This is a 12 on back, 120 roll film. Excellent. Real workhorse of a camera, and I used one for many, many years. Um, no need for me to tell you how good these things are. They are wonderful cameras. And probably the most unusual is this an art panorama. Um, just fantastic. Uh, what have we got on here? Super Angulon 90mm made by Schneider Kreuznach. What a machine that is. It will shoot 6x17 or 6x12 frames. Absolutely phenomenal. I've not handled one of these before, and believe me, when you swap from micro four thirds or full frame um, a digital camera, boy, you know you've got this around your neck. I can tell you that for sure. Amazing. Tremendous camera. Here's a fairly rare beast for you to have a look at as well. The famous 35mm um, 
wide angle Sumeron by Lights, Leica, and it's the spectacle, it's known as a spectacle lens. And of course it was designed to fit on the uh, M series of rangefinder cameras. It's a uh, M bayonet. And uh, that will couple up very nicely with the viewfinder and rangefinder. Really nice and pretty rare beast these days. Nice to find. Then another favorite of mine, and uh, it's a camera that I sold a couple of years ago. This is uh, not this actual one, but the lovely Rolleiflex 2.8F. Um, just a beast of a camera, uh, beautiful to use. Um, if you're into using twin lens reflexes, then you'll have no problem with this. Of course, you're looking down into the viewfinder and the image is laterally reversed. So when you move the camera left, the image goes right. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but that's a very nice example. I'm coming much more up to date. We have, we have an absolutely pristine Leica M6, boxed with instructions. Doesn't come a lot better than that. It's still got the protective covering on the base plate. Really, really super camera. And for those of you that have never used um, um, Leica, uh, particularly rangefinder Leicas rather than the single lens reflex, the feel and the action on these, it's just silky smooth. Really, really lovely cameras. So as well as enlargers and darkroom equipment, they have a fantastic selection of photographic books. Enough to keep anybody happy. <laughs> uh, they have gallery space. Here we have a signer. Monorail. Selection of studio strobe heads. On stands. More books. Gosh, I could spend hours in here just going through the books. Fantastic. And they have an antique magic lantern by Archer and Sons, made here in Liverpool. And if you want to buy film, you sell chemicals as well? Oh, fantastic, great. So there you go, film, chemicals, paper. Anybody wanting to get back into or start doing their own processing, you can get everything in here. And the staff are just super helpful, trust me. As they smile towards me. <laughs> Terrific stuff. And you've got camera, other cameras behind you there sort of waiting for repair or Most beyond? These are listed online. And then we have a stock room full in the back. Oh, okay. Full of, full of extra bits, bobs. Because you sell, I mean, you sell direct from here, but you sell, I know you sell on eBay. Yeah, we sell on eBay. We sell on our own website. And then occasionally we do camera fairs and the like as well. Tremendous stuff. Telephone orders as well, of course. Terrific. You've got a nice Billingham up there. I've got a Billingham at home. Oh, you've got more than one Billingham up there. Gosh, very nice. 
Well, it just remains for me to thank these two wonderful people and the real camera company for letting me take over their shop for half an hour or so. Um, I can't recommend it enough. For those of you that like a proper camera shop, um, come and visit because it's, it's more than worthwhile, believe me. Um, you know, a uh, Jessup's or Wilkinson's, it definitely isn't. And in my book, that's a good thing. So from the Real Camera Company here in Liverpool, I'm going to wish you all a very happy day. Stay safe, and I'll see you all next time for another video. Enjoy your photography. Bye-bye for now.